Hello everybody, it's Kyra from Body Candy. Filming in a different room today just because the lighting where I normally film was not it. Got some little friends with us today since I'm not filming in my normal room. So welcome back to another episode of The Tea. On this episode of The Tea, we will be discussing what can you wear in a septum piercing. But before we get into that, remember to like, comment and subscribe to Body Candy to see a lot more of these informative videos. Let's go. So first up, we've got a horseshoe or circular barbell. Horseshoes are a classic for a reason. They're comfortable, widely available, and they also work in fresh piercings. You can also get nifty little charm ends instead of just the classic ball ends, so they're really customizable to anyone's look. You can also flip these up inside your nose to instantly hide your piercing. A great choice if you work in a piercing unfriendly environment. If you do like to flip your jewelry up, be really mindful with this when you're choosing the charm ends. For example, I have a circular barbell and it has stars on. I can't flip that one up because it hurts. So just keep that in mind. Next up, we've got captive ring or ball closure ring. So this is the original bull ring style. These have a bit of an edgier look to them. They're a bit more heavy, easily available and super comfortable. Really great if you like a bolder style. The main downside to this jewelry is actually getting it in and out. If you've ever used a ball closure before, it can be a bit of a nightmare. It may require a special tool or for you to go to your piercer every time you want it in and out just because you don't want to be bending this permanently out of shape. However, they also do come in different charm styles too, so you can interchange your ball. So you can still rock a little bit of extra fashion knowing your piercing will not go anywhere. Next up, we've got the seamless ring. These don't use a clasp or a bead to hold. These just simply push back together again. This makes them really easy to insert and remove by yourself. However, these are not very suitable for fresh piercings because the ends don't fit flush. This can result in the fistula narrowing where the ends meet, which makes it really difficult to remove this piercing. However, for a heel piercing, this is a fabulous option. Next up, we have clickers. All the look of circular jewelry, but it has a straight bar all the way through that clicks together shut. The only downside of these is that sometimes they can be quite hard to open when they're inside your nose, so you need to make sure you're not hurting yourself. Next up, my personal favourite, I wear these every single day, and that is a hinged segment ring. These are like a clicker, they do still click into place, but these are fully circular. These have a curved segment instead of a straight barbell that goes all the way through. Very widely available in lots of colours and styles. However, same again, just make sure you can actually remove this really well before actually committing to it. Make sure it's loose enough to be able to open and close, otherwise you might need a little trip to your piercer. Next up we've got pinchers. These are crescent shaped rings for your septum. They're held in place with O-rings, kind of similar to what you'd put on the front and back of a stretched ear, because these are most commonly used by people who are stretching their septums. So they're more often than not available in larger gauges too. The downside of this is obviously the gauge isn't the same size all the way around. It's thicker in the middle and some people just don't like dealing with O-rings but they do look really cool. Lastly we've got tusks and spikes. So these are simply just straight bars often made of organic materials or glass and they frequently come in larger gauges too so you can actually stretch with these too. Just make sure you choose the length carefully so it doesn't catch on anything especially if you have nostril piercings as well. So these are not jewellery for a fresh piercing, these are for older jewellery that is being stretched. Perfectly fine. So I hope this video helps and I will see you on the next episode of The Tea. Goodbye.